Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to deploy and configure VMware vCenter server or you can say the virtual appliance uh, v VMware vCenter server virtual appliance on VMware workstation. So uh, deploying a uh, vCenter server on workstation required maybe, maybe you are doing hands on lab and you are setting the home lab and you want to do the VMware uh, VMware for the practice and you need a VCSA on your machine however you can install the VCSA server or you can deploy the VCSA server on ESXi server itself which which is going to run uh, under your workstation but I recommend you to if you are uh, planning to do uh, labs on your physical machine at home and you want to test some features or uh, wants to do you know, uh, labs on uh, hands-on training for the VMware products and vCenter servers then I recommend you to go ahead and deploy a VMware vCenter server on workstation itself so I'm I'm using uh, the latest version of VMware workstation which is 16 Pro and just uh, let me show you what is my physical machine so if I go on performance you can see I am using my uh, CPU from the Intel which is i7 7800X uh, uh, CPU which is uh, 3.50 gigahertz and it's having uh, 6 core and 12 logical processor and my physical machine having uh, 128 gig of uh, memory and you can see I'm using eight uh, in my machine. I having eight module and each module having uh, 16 gig of memory. So, so this is my physical machine. Basically, on my physical machine, I have installed Windows 10. Uh, you can see here Windows 10 Pro. On my this Windows 10 Pro, I have installed VMware Workstation. Uh, so this is VMware Workstation 16 Pro. You can see here and uh, this is the build number of our workstation so now um, we are going to deploy the vCenter server virtual appliance on our VMware workstation so if you are like uh, doing the uh, lab and following um, my videos like you can say oh, I have I have video on vCenter server 7 so VCS 7 uh, complete v, uh, training for the data center virtualization if you are following that video also and any other uh, other videos where you want to practice the vCenter server I recommend you to deploy on vCenter server uh, workstation itself because it's going to give you good performance so now uh, I have one domain control in this infrastructure so I need to deploy this virtual appliance so first you need a virtual appliance ISO media which you can download from VMware so I have already downloaded here you can see VMware VCSA so if I open this you can see there are multiple uh, you can say uh, folders and files so I'm looking for VCSA folder and if you go in VCSA folder you will see this uh, OVF file basically this is if I go and see the file format for this machine this is going to be a OVA file basically so OVA file you can uh, import in uh, your workstation so I'm going to right click and open with VMware workstation so just click on it so it will launch the import uh, virtu virtual machine um, wizard and you need to accept the license term click next so this is going to give you some information about the uh, term and, uh, uh, term and uh, conditions you can see click next and here you need to provide the uh, name of the virtual machine so I'm going to call it uh, INVCSA70 since this is going to be a uh, 7 Seven zero versions, uh, version seven for the vCenter server. I'm going to save in C drive VMware uh, workstation folder. Click next. And now it's going to ask you which uh, deployment option you want to select. So we have a Tiny which is going to support for the. the uh, you can see here this require two CPU, two vCPU, and uh, ten mem uh, ten gig of memory, which require also. 415 GB of disk and it's going to support 10 hosts and 100 VM so and if you s go with the extra large you can see here 24 vCPU and it's going to around 3.5 terabyte space and 40 gig of memory and it will support 2000 hosts and 35 virtual machines so I'm going to s deploy the tiny one so just click next 
and now you need to provide some information like IP address family so if you uh, uh, take your mouse to a small icon here it will give you what you need to put so I'm going to put here IP family IPv4 and the network mode I'm going to give a static static you can see here you can give DHCP as static and here you need to provide the IP address so I am going to give 192.168.1.120 and suffix so I am going to put 255.255.0 and gateway 192.168.1.1 DNS I am going to give 192.168.1.101 and with comma I am going to give alternative uh, DNS so and here you need to uh, uh, give the full qualified name of a uh, name of the machine or you can say IP address so I'm going to give full qualified name so it's going to be IN VCS 70 dot labs hands on dot com and here uh, on SOS information you need to provide the single sign on password so I'm going to type this password and from the system configuration root uh, this is going to be appliance uh, appliance uh, root password so I'm going to type my appliance root password and upgrade configuration you can ignore this and miscellaneous uh, uh, customer experience is going to be false and network properties also here domain name so I'm going to give it labs hands on dot com and domain search path is going to be same and now you can see here the virtual machine will be powered on after deployment so this will deploy the virtual machine and also going to power on that particular virtual machine post the deployment so we need to wait for this uh, deployment to be finished and once this deployment is finished the machine is going to be powered on automatically and we can see the uh, machine inside our VMware workstation so now you can see the machine is powered on and it's, it's going to do some uh, backend configuration you can see the configuration is running so since this configuration is running we can go ahead and create the DNS entry in our uh, Active Directory infrastructure so I'm going to on my AD server and go to DNS and then I'm going to make sure I have a static entry for DNS so I have already created if you, uh, if you have not created go ahead and just uh, create a host record uh, with the DNS name of your uh, vCenter server and the IP address of your vCenter server so now you can see the configuration part is still running it's going to take some time so now you can see we got the uh, IP address and uh, hostname configuration for this vCenter server appliance so we need to configure this appliance now uh, so I'm going to log into SGTPS and INVC SA70 labs and so on dot com and the port number is going to be 5480 so here let's go so th uh, basically I'm trying to log into appliance management console so you can see we are vCenter server has been successfully installed however additional step required so I'm going to click on setup so this will uh, allow us to set up the vCenter server completely so first I'm going to type my root account password here to log in now you can see we got the end. step 1 is done step 2 we need to do it so click next and now we need to just verify these information which we have provided during the uh, deployment so I'm going to type my alternative DNS and going to sync with NTP server and I'm typing my NTP server IP address so everything looks good here static IP address FQDN so all good click next now we need to type the SOS configuration single sign on configuration so just wait for saving the time synchronization saving the domain uh, so it's going to uh, save all the information which we have provided basically it's going to write the changes in this 
uh, appliance itself and then we will proceed with the uh, single sign on uh, configuration so now you can see we need to type the single sign on domain name if you having already having you can go ahead and join this so I'm going to type here v vspare dot local and then I'm going to type my single sign on password here click next and now I'm not going to join a customer experience in plan click next and everything good you just need to verify one once these all the information and once you validate everything good just click on finish and now it's saying once you start this configuration you cannot stop so that's fine just go ahead and click OK so now you can see it's going to conf uh, do all the configuration which is part of stage 2 so this process is going to take some time may, may be depending on the perform how many cores and CPU you have given to your VCS appliance sometime it's going to take 10 minutes so I'm going to pause the recording once and once this step is completed I'm going to resume from there so now you can see in between it's going to lose my bits going to lose the network since it's going to do some reset for uh, network configuration so we need to uh, reload the page now we need to log in back and see if the deployment is completed so now you can see everything is good and our machine is basically in uh, configure and now everything is single sign on also you can see up and running so everything is looking good now I'm going to log into the vCenter server itself and verify everything is good so this is URL for my vCenter server going to log in and the default administrator vspare.local and going to type password for this account so now you can see the deployment is completed so all good so you can see the version and build build version for the build for the this vcenter server which we have deployed so everything is good so this is all about how to deploy and configure vCenter server appliance or VCSA appliance on VMware workstation 16 and same way you can deploy on any other workstation if you are using like 14, 15 anything so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail address thank you once again bye bye